Hi, today I'm going to be sharing with you a quick devlog for an indie game I've been working on using Unreal Engine. This video will cover the game design, where I'm at at the moment, and my plans for the future. Without further ado, this is Robots Kill People. Robots Kill People is a twin-stick shooter where you pilot a mech and fight through hordes of evil robots. I feel like an issue with my previous games was that they were too hard for new players to pick up, so that's something I'm looking to improve here. My motto is, easy to pick up, hard to put down. It can be easy to overcomplicate shooters with multiple weapons and abilities. Heck, in the latest Doom, trying to control your character sometimes feels like trying to play a piano. So for this game, I plan to keep it simple. In each level, the player can choose any four weapons or abilities, and they'll be limited to that selection unless they encounter a shop along the way. This will keep the controls fairly simple, and will make players have to make hard decisions about what to bring into each mission. I decided to make it a twin-stick shooter as opposed to a first-person shooter, as that would both speed up development significantly and make it easier for players who are less familiar with shooters. If you've ever seen someone who isn't familiar with shooters pick up a controller, you'll know exactly what I mean. Another big focal point for this game is the enemy design. My approach for enemy design was to make enemies that would force the player to move in different ways and would need to be dealt with differently. So far, there are three enemy types in the game. I only have placeholder names at the moment, but here we go. The first I am calling Runners, which as the name suggests, runs at the player. This is a weak enemy that keeps constant pressure on the player, forcing them to stay on the move. The second enemy I call Gunners. They fire missiles at the player forcing them to strafe. This is a tougher enemy that can deal a lot of damage if the player isn't careful. The third enemy is called Artillery. It predicts where the player is going and fires a volley of projectiles, which forces the player to change up their movement direction or break line of sight. They have the most health, but are ineffective up close, so the player needs to close the gap. I plan to add more enemy types in the future, but by using different combinations of these three enemies, I can make a lot of varied encounters. In fact, there is a lot of elements I can mix up, to make every fight unique. From the size and shape of the arenas, the different combinations of enemy types, explosives, health and energy pickups, and power-ups. I can mix and match these elements to give the player a unique challenge every time. I aim for each level to be about five to 10 minutes long. So far I've blocked out the first level and, well, I've got a long way to go. But early days yet. Going forward, there are a couple of things I want to focus on. The first is making unique assets to place in the levels. This will help add flavour to each environment and make different arenas stand out. Oftentimes, the overuse of assets in games can lead to every room looking the same, which is not only boring, but can result in players getting lost. I plan to make use of landmarks to help players know where they are in each level. I also have plans for more distinctive locations. To take you on a bit of a tangent, in 1993, a report by Sandia National Laboratories detailed designs for long-time nuclear waste warning messages. These were physical landmarks that were supposed to convey that an area of land contained nuclear waste. Some of the designs were described as spike fields and a landscape of thorns. What I love about these images is how alien and hostile they are. I think this would make a great setting for the next level in the game. I'm also considering the possibility of using radiation as a hazard in the level. The second thing I want to focus on going forward is the weapons and progression. My plan is for players to be able to find upgrade stations in the levels. These will give players two variations on the weapons to choose from. They'll progress through something on an upgrade tree, with new options every time they upgrade. This will allow players to experience lots of unique weapons, and will let them tailor their mech to their playstyle. It's worth mentioning that a lot of this is subject to change while I work on the game. I need to spend some time testing with players to find out what works and make tweaks accordingly. But for now, this is where I'm up to. If you have any cool ideas for the game, I would love to hear them in the comments. If you want to keep up to date on the project and support the channel, then hit subscribe. Leave a like if you liked the video, or a dislike if you didn't, and I'll see you in the next one.